he is a threat legitimately to hit his head on the goalpost mm-hmm. every time he touched the football. Mm-hmm. He is. That man, number 10, 5'8", 195 pounds, mm-hmm. strikes more fear in the heart of opposing coaches than any current player because of that speed and his ability to break the game open at any moment. I'm looking at a team that is averaging over th- or nearly 36 points a game. They've already have scored tw- 223 points thus far this year. Okay, they are number one in yards. They are number one in points. They got the number one passing attack. They got the number one rushing attack. And the likelihood is that if you're going to beat them, you need to count on putting up at least 25 to 30. You know, you guys, I'm just going to get straight into it at this point because the Miami Dolphins, man, are currently living up to all of the hype that they had coming into this season. And they're answering any questions questions that pretty much anyone had. The offense looks absolutely unstoppable with Tua playing how he is and Tyreek playing how he is and with Mike McDaniel serving and out scheming every defense the Dolphins play against whether it's using motion with Tyreek Hill or giving the ball to Raheem Mostert or Devon A-Chain and while I know the defense hasn't been great you have to realize that the defense is nowhere near their ultimate ceiling. The defense has had a lot of guys banged up most importantly Jalen Ramsey. So when considering how good the offense is and the fact that the defense is only going to get better and better, the Miami Dolphins are not a team that I personally would be looking forward to playing against. But before we get into that, you could have made the last Miami Dolphins game even better if you would have just took Tua over passing yards and Tyreek over receiving yards on prize picks. You would have been able to triple your money like I was able to do, and the Tua and Tyreek duo literally almost hits every single week. So if you want to triple 5x or even 10x your money next Sunday against a bad Eagles secondary, go use my code LOGIC in the prize picks app or just use the first link in the description and prize Price picks will double your first deposit for completely free, and you can use that extra money on anything you want. Okay, so to get back on topic with the Miami Dolphins, whether you want to talk about this team being number one in total yards per game, number one in rushing efficiency per game, number one in passing yards per game, or just the fact that they're the number one team in the most important stat points per game. This shows that the Dolphins offense is levels above every other offense in the NFL and no matter what teams do, it doesn't look like this offense is going to be slowed down anytime soon. But even with all the success we've seen from the Miami Dolphins and all the talent that they have on this roster, we all know that the ultimate success of this team is going to come down to this guy right here. Tua Tagovailoa heading into this year had a ton of question marks surrounding him, not only about injuries, but also about whether 2022 was a fluke or not. But man, I'm happy to say that last season wasn't even close to a fluke because all last year was was a small preview into what we were going to get this year because so far through the first six weeks, Tua looks even better than he did last season, which is saying something considering he was one of the most efficient quarterbacks in football last year. This year so far, he's currently top three in completion percentage, number one in yards per game by a long shot, and number one in touchdowns thrown while also being the number one quarterback in passer rating. This just goes to show how high of a level he's currently playing at. And to be completely honest with you, I don't see any reason why he shouldn't be number one in the MVP conversation. He's extremely accurate and he does a great job at getting the ball out fast and on time to his receivers, which allows all of these big plays that we see from the offense happen. But even with all the success we've seen from Tua so far this year, what's crazy to me is that we've seen other areas of this offense be just as dominant, if not more dominant than him, which I can't even believe is coming out of my mouth. The biggest reason for the success of this offense, in my personal opinion, and most people's opinion, is hands down, that guy, Mike McDaniel. The Dolphins adding him last offseason is honestly going to go down as one of the better coaching hires of all time with what we've been able to see him transform this offense into. I mean, we all knew he was going to be effective since he was coming from the Shanahan tree, but he's added so much of his own sauce to the system that gives defenses so so many fits. The most common thing you hear when talking about Mike McDaniel is how often he uses motion to not only open up the passing game to get guys wide open for Tua to throw to, but also the way he uses it to get the fastest running back duo in the league big running lanes to run through. The most common guy you see used in motion is obviously Tyreek Hill, which is the perfect guy for that because the entire defense's main focus is not letting him beat them over the top. 
So being able to motion him around not only gets him open at times, but it also opens up other areas of the field because of how much attention is placed on him. But while Mike McDaniel is a genius in his own right, you can't deny the fact that the players he's working with might be the best in the entire NFL, which definitely helps him out a little bit. Tyreek Hill is once again on pace to break almost every single receiving record there is to break, and Jalen Waddle is right there behind him, arguably being the best receiver too in the entire league. So with these two guys on the field, I'm not sure what defenses are supposed to do because you also can't just focus on those two guys because the Dolphins also have Braxton Berrios and River Craycraft that will get you out of nowhere. And now with the addition of Chase Claypool to go along with them, I'm sure Mike McDaniel is going to find a way to make him look like one of the better receivers in the NFL with how big and fast he is, which is honestly just scary to think about. We also can't forget the fact that even with Mostert getting pretty old, he's still playing at an extremely high level, and Yvon A-Chain, on the other hand, was easily one of the greatest value picks in this entire draft class. He just has a different gear of speed than everyone else on the field, which is probably why he's averaging a whopping 12 yards per attempt, making him the third highest back in rushing yards while only playing in four games with just 38 total carries. So, I mean, this entire offense is the definition of speed, and when you have Mike McDaniel's brain combined with it, and Tua's accuracy and anticipation, you get an offense that leads the NFL in literally every single important metric. But as we all know, the defense hasn't necessarily lived up to what we thought they could be this year. But the good thing is they still have Fangio, who I have a lot of trust in. And Jalen Ramsey just started practicing again. And he's looking to make his season debut in just two or three weeks, which is obviously huge for this Dolphins defense. We've also seen Jalen Phillips be banged up for the majority of the season. So with him being healthy now, we should start to see the pass rush heat up. And when Ramsey comes back, him and Xavier Howard should make up one of the better duos in all of the NFL. And if we're being completely honest with ourselves, in reality, we don't need to see this defense be some world beater. We just need them to hold teams to under around 28 points because we all know this offense is going to put up 30 plus in pretty much every game they play in. It's also good to mention that the NFL is no longer a league where defense wins championships because as we've seen over these past couple of years, the teams that go all the way usually have great offenses and mediocre or just top 15 defenses, which is something the Dolphins defense is 100% capable of doing. So with Ramsey coming back soon and the offense being absolutely unstoppable, I'm not exactly sure if I would take anyone in the NFL over this team fully healthy. But I'm curious to know you guys' thoughts about the Miami Dolphins in the comments below. So let me know how confident you are about both sides of the ball down there. And with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.